this uh, case has gone through several hurdles. Um, these two men, uh, Jiang Yujun and Gung Jinping, were uh, convicted in January at a trial earlier this year, and they have had uh, several appeals since then at local levels and provincial level. And uh, lastly, China's Supreme People's Court has approved the uh, executions, and they have now been carried out. These are the first people to be uh, uh, executed in connection with the case. And in fact, these were, these were the only two people who were given a death sentence in this case. There was a total of 21 people who were given uh, sentences and convicted, but these were the two who were um, given death sentences. And it shows that the authorities here are trying to show that they're on top of this situation and that they have carried out what they said they were going to do and punish those people responsible for this uh, scandal. There does seem to be, though, Michael, recurring food safety problems in China. Is that something that the public is pressing the government on? Well, it is. I mean, these, quite often uh, uh, these incidents happen in various food scandals. Um, just four years before this outbreak, there was another um, uh, baby uh, milk uh, powder scandal um, that uh, resulted in a number of children dying. So China does have a problem in, in making sure that it things, it feeds its uh, uh, population are safe. Uh, but also, uh, we've got to mention that it's not always as open as it possibly could about finding all the people responsible and sorting out these problems. So, for example, a few days ago, um, someone who was uh, so, uh, campaigning against uh, this, uh, the, the government action in this case was detained. So the government is still very sensitive about this issue.